Hi guys. Yeah. I'm actually going to say something about the flood right there on the island. When I when I'm actually talking about nature, a lot of people start thinking, what is what is what is AY saying? AY is talking rubbish. AY is saying nonsense. AY is serious. Doesn't even know what he's saying. I'm actually sorry for those affected, you know, negatively. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but believe me, I'm going to repeat this and I'm going to keep saying it all over and over again. When nature calls, nobody, I mean, nobody can stop it. You, you have to understand the fact that you can't push water away and not provide where there will be waterways to pass, like drainage, proper drainage. And a lot of you, learned elite, that you call yourself elite, living on the island, you go out there, you rent house with ridiculous, you know, prices and whatever it is, and you don't even ask, is there a proper drainage? Now, what just happened is just a tip of the iceberg of what will happen next. Yes, it's just a tip of the iceberg of what will happen next. That is just Lego. That is Osa coming. You know, if they are coming to the island and then you decide to pass through the first stop, they're coming to the island on, from the mainland. You know, Osa is on the left. So you just see the fight of Osa. Now, if you look at, if you look at, if you look at the third mainland bridge, you realize that they are actually sand filling the third mainland bridge. That's a particular lake under it. So they are sand filling it, trying to develop that place. Now, in the process of this sand filling that, you are pushing that particular leak towards another end that does not even prepare for it coming. Now it's affecting the lucky people access. No, you, you have to look at it. Now, looking at the new Lagos from the other side, which is the sea, don't go open. You know, that one is Osa. This one is open to see the major sea itself. This is not lake now. If those two clash, if they actually happen to clash, what do you think will happen? You're not start using speedboats or you start using whatever it is. I don't know, but you people living there, you need to sit down and cry out. You can't be paying that ridiculous amount of money for rent and now be suffering for changing your car bodies, changing whatever it is, or, or even, you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. And it has been said, the warning. You know, they've been warning that, look, this year, 2017, weather, when it comes to rain, the rainy season is going to be massive. But a lot of you should understand. A lot of you should get ready. But what are you guys doing? A lot of lounging, doing lucky big boys, lucky, lucky big girls. I am not saying I don't want to be that among, But I have to, you know, look at my life. I don't know. What, what is... Why you are just building house, sand filling, sand filling, sand filling. You are not looking at where are we going to channel all the drainages. Now, now, Sabio, now, or now, Sabio. God will help us. Maybe until we start thinking, forgetting about the, you know, social affluence or whatever it is, and let's think about how our life is going to be. You know, how we're going to save our lives. Me, I don't have my own. But the Lord will help us. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just bothered and I'm worried. I've got friends that live on the island. I've got families that live on the island. But come on, a lot of them are living there because the place is actually close to their place of work due to traffic and all that. Instead of, instead of, instead of Lagos State should be looking at how to manage and create more waterways or, or, or water transportation, they are sand filling the lake. The lake is there for a reason. Not for land, not for land sale, whatever it is. Put, put more effort into the waterways. Put more effort into the water transportation or whatever it is. So as for you, you don't have to turn all the water, the waterways to land. Don't don't run call so you mean, and say don't don't run run below you mean. by force on I would they go they leave from the island. Now think about it. When nature calls, nothing. Can stop it. Look at the express. Look at it. 
all of them are the dry motto on our pack for us now very soon i can know i'm going to use for that road think about it i'm not saying living there is bad but looking at what is worth doing at all is what doing well lagos needs to think about that lagos needs to think we know that lagos is trying we know lagos is working so until everybody perishes inside water they use them to sacrifice before i'm going to say no be smart thing i don't talk my own i don't talk my own i said mine and that's all i can say for now god bless you go me i don't get what i don't get talk again what i did here we go and go